Calling all climate buffs! Let's take a second to review the latest U.S. and global climate reports for this past spring issued by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. The global land and ocean surface temperature for March through May 2018 was about a degree and a half Fahrenheit above the typical 20th century spring. And it was the fourth warmest spring in 139 years of records. Looking at land temperatures only, 2018 was the fifth highest March through May period on record. This spring culminated with the 401st month in a row with warmer than usual global monthly temperatures. In other words, if you're younger than 34 years old as of 2018, the earth has been warmer than usual for every single month of your life. It's almost as if the usual is changing. Hmm. Looking to the sea surface, our global oceans also experienced the fourth warmest spring on record. This animation shows temperature deviations for spring 2018. Blue colors indicate cooler than usual water, while red indicates warmer than usual water. In the United States, March 2018 had near normal temperatures, April was much colder than usual, and May was the warmest May since records began. The three-month period ranked as the 22nd warmest spring on record. Record-setting and near-record-setting rainfall was observed across the southeast and mid-Atlantic United States during spring 2018, largely due to slow-moving weather systems, including Subtropical Storm Alberto. Subtropical Storm Alberto was the first named storm of the 2018 Atlantic hurricane season. Alberto formed on May 25th and reached its peak intensity in the Gulf of Mexico on May 28th with maximum sustained winds of 65 miles per hour. Alberto weakened before making landfall near Laguna Beach, Florida with winds of 45 miles per hour. And so, it was not the wind, but instead the heavy rainfall that made Alberto a dangerous storm, with flash flooding occurring in Cuba, Mexico, and the U.S. Gulf Coast states, causing 12 deaths, 7 in Cuba, and 5 in North Carolina. Alberta was unusual because it maintained strength over land, traveling as far north as the Great Lakes, well over a thousand miles away. Alberta reached Lake Huron as a remarkably well-defined weather system of its kind. In fact, Alberta is the first known tropical depression to travel so far north before June 1st, which is the official date of Atlantic hurricane season. Also in May, NOAA scientists released a new study showing that tropical cyclones all over the world are moving about 10% slower over the areas that they impact than they did back in 1950. This isn't really good news because with extra water in the atmosphere in a warming world, that could double the local rainfall. And if our bustling cities continue getting ever more bustling into the future, this increases flood impacts due to massive areas of non-natural landscapes, meaning that future storms are much more dangerous and costly. If you live near the Gulf of Mexico or along the Atlantic coast, it is vital to understand likely effects of hurricanes, such as storm surges, flooding, and high damaging winds. Please have a plan for your family before a storm hits your neighborhood. And that, my wonderful climate buffs, is your spring 2018 Climate Digest. Have a fantastic summer and stay safe, y'all. For more information, please visit the website shown at the end of this video.